What's going on guys? Welcome to That's What's Up. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the McFarlane Toys Gunslinger Spawn. So let's get into it. Before we open this bad boy up, let's take a look at the packaging real quick. Uh, up here, it does have a sticker up at the top. It says, from Record Breaker Comic Book. Uh, you do get the Spawn logo down here. Gunslinger Spawn there. Uh, McFarlane Toys logo at the top. It says 14 plus up there. Not a toy. Um, on the side, you do get uh, the Spawn logo again. You do have a posed uh, pic of the figure. On the other side, you do get a comic book look at the character right there. Really cool. Spawn at the top, uh, put one up there, I'll put one on the front, nothing real at the bottom. Uh, we journey on to the back right here. You do get the spawn logo again, uh, title of the figure. Uh, it says 22 moving parts right there, and you do get a posed picture of the figure itself, which is kind of weird. Looks kind of plain in the back. Kind of wish they gave us a comic book picture, something really, really cool on the back there uh, to make it look pretty awesome. And at the bottom, to say McFarlane.com, McFarlane Toys. So that's pretty much it with the box. Um, I thought I wasn't gonna find this figure at all, but went into my local Target and there it was sitting there. I almost had a heart attack trying to find it. <laughs> but a uh, very cool figure. Um, so yeah, let's get this real quick. All right, we have Spawn out of the packaging and this figure is badass. Uh, before we get into uh, him, let's take a look at the accessories that do come with. And it does come with a uh, Pretty good amount of them. Um, as always, you do get your black uh, plain spawn base as a spawn logo on there in white. And as you can see, he does stand without it, but I'll probably be using that too. Um, he does come with two pistols, which are very nicely painted. And who knows, I'll, maybe I'll use my uh, chrome pen and uh, chrome these out a little bit more mostly just worried that putting him in the holsters will chip off the paint but these are really awesome let's take a look at one at a time here you can see there there is like a little skull in the handle there both sides very nicely detailed so you do get a pair of those um, you do get it's got a swell and it is really nicely painted and detailed. Um, maybe could use a wash, but still very nice. And there is a little warp from the packaging. It's heated up a little bit. Uh, probably not too much. You don't want to damage it. But very, very awesome. And I believe there's like a little... Yeah, it looks like there's a little Spawn logo right there embedded in that. cool and you do get a holster for that for the back too there's a lot of detail in the sculpt on this missing a little paintwork but you could add that in later on and that will slide on in there very cool so let's get into the figure before do anything else and there is a lot of detail in this bad boy um, probably will heat this up a little bit and get it spread apart, maybe just a tad, but the sculpt is all there. Very awesome. Hat doesn't come off, which I'm fine with that. There is some chrome on the skulls on the hat. Very nicely painted. Those eyes are painted really, really nice green too. Uh, chest, and that's painted decently. I did uh, pretty make it out pretty good even though there was only one on the shelf. But the bullets are all gold. You got the buckles there. Um, the knife is not removable, but still cool. And you do have the holsters for the guns right here. And that's a really awesome plus. Just pop right in there. As you can see, we'll get the other one out. Pop that in there too. Very cool. Boots, painted really, really nice spurs in the back and that jacket is nice as well I might put a wash on that as well got the hands 
little warpage right here, but like I said, let's warm that up. We can fix that. So not bad at all. There is even spikes on the top of the jacket right there as well. So very, very cool. All right, before we get into articulation, let's see how some of these accessories fit on here. So we'll slide this little gun holster over his head and see how that goes. Might have some issues doing that. Ugh. All right, looks like we got it pretty much over there. Nice. And like I said his rifle just slips right in there in the back right there. Pretty darn awesome. Uh, let's see how his pistols actually fit in his fingers. They do seem a little loose. Uh, hopefully he does hold them. Let's start with this one over here quick. Pull this out of the holster. And then let's pop it in his hand. He has two shooting hands. Mm, a little bit loose in there. Hopefully they kind of hold on, but that looks pretty darn awesome. Do a little shake test there. Seems a little sus, but it is holding the pistol. Let's try the other one real quick. And I'll pop that one off. Pop this one on this hand. All right. And now he has his double pistols there. And with the shake test, seems like he's holding up pretty well. And that looks freaking badass. Very awesome. Let's pop these out. Put these back in the holster right here and then let's try his rifle I'm not too sure if there's any specific way he needs to hold this but we'll slide it in the hands here I feel like it goes in the fingers right there so I mean it's double jointed fingers yeah there might be some struggles there but holding it in his hands like this maybe yeah, I guess not too bad. I probably won't be displaying it with his rifle as much as the pistols, but still pretty cool. I mean, yeah, he's holding on it pretty, pretty well. So yeah, all right, let's get into articulation real quick. Um, let's take this all off for now. So we do that. All right, and we'll take a look at the head. Head goes back decent I mean it's it is you know blocked by the back of the collar maybe if you took it back a little bit and pull it back so you get that much downwards decent amount actually as you can see there you the chest um, head does rotate all the way around as you can see you do have some pivot there for some attitude poses not bad uh, arms go up that much they do rotate all the way around as you can see here you do have double jointed elbows that get up pretty high so you can get to touch the top of the hat for that little how you doing ladies um and there is rotation at the wrist and you do have some movement there as well not bad i think there's a yeah there's a little swivel here as well it's a little cut probably won't be using it as much um ab crunch I'll try to get that to go Eh, he does move forward that much probably a little bit more back right there he does rotate here as well um, he does do the splits that much but are you gonna want to get your spawn that much splitty you know Jean-Claude Van Damme poses there um, so he does come that much uh, no rotation there he does pop out that far he does have double jointed knees as you can see those are pretty nice no boot swiveled there uh, in the legs. There is a little back movement, a little forward movement. He does have a little hinge at the end of the toes. And there is a tiny bit of pivot, not that much. So that's pretty much it on that. I think it's an awesome figure, um, especially uh, it's been a while since I've seen some spawn figures come out since I was like a kid. So um, I think it's one of the ones you guys need to pick up now. I do have maybe two or three put away somewhere. I won't be able to grab them. Um, let me see if I can compare without knocking anything down. We do have the Mortal Kombat spawn here, which looks pretty awesome as well. Kind of looking for a cartoon accurate looking 
spawn for my collection. Um, and I do have a Mandarin one somewhere else, and one of the bigger Mortal Kombat ones as well. But it's awesome that McFarlane is actually making more spawn figures. Uh, I think their whole line looks pretty good, even the DC Multiverse stuff. Uh, maybe the stuff before that was a little iffy, but they're doing a lot better with these new figures. Very awesome. So this is a must pick up if you guys haven't had it yet. Um, I know it's very hard to find. It's looking like maybe 40, 60 bucks maybe on Amazon, but uh, if you're lucky, you'll find one in your local targets. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Gunslinger Spawn figure. I think it's awesome, and I think you guys should pick it up. Um, stay tuned for more videos from Greg and I. Uh, we'll have more videos out soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!